to wrap up our night, the New Mexico Music Hall of Fame Michael E. Sanchez Lifetime Achievement Award. <laughs> extraordinary people do extraordinary things, and such is the case with Albuquerque's own Dave Adams. When you say lifetime achievement, well, it means just that. You've spent a lifetime achieving. You hold yourself to higher standards. You pursue excellence all the time. His resume is full examples of his dedication to two things, his service to our country and his love for music. Check this out. Band commander for the United States Army Band in Fort Hamilton, New York. Rhythm and vocal branch head at the Armed Forces School of Music in Norfolk, Virginia. Stage band director for the First Army Band in Fort Carson, Colorado. Piano player for the United States Army Field Band. We can only mention a few, but his list is too long. It'll keep on going. You get the picture. And by the way, his civic resume is equally as impressive as his music resume. During his career, Dave did manage to find time to make Albuquerque his home and share his music knowledge while educating some of our local youth. Along with private instructing, he founded an ensemble called the Young Rascals Jazz Project, which was comprised of area youth, mainly middle and high school students, they were showing excelled musical skills. At their tender young age, Dave saw it to it that they not only appear, but had the qualifications to perform at events like the Telluride Jazz Festival and others. The Young Rascals Jazz Project became known as a serious building block for aspiring up and coming professional musicians. And I'll give you a couple of examples. One of his young jazz vocalists by the name of Veronica Swift has gone on to become a nationally recognized industry giant in the genre of jazz. If you Google her, you can see her performances at events like the Monterey Jazz F Festival and also sharing stages with the likes of Wynton Marcellus and many other industry giants. The other example is Albuquerque area sax player Pablo Chavez, who has become one of the most sought after sax players in the region, both as a performance player and a studio session player. I reached out to Pablo for a quote, and these are his words. If it wasn't for Dave Adams, I wouldn't have matured into a professional musician as early as I did. Getting to rub elbows with heavyweights like James Moody, Clark Terry, Diana Krall, Paquito de Rivera, Chick Corea, and even the late Dizzy Gillespie. I love Dave Adams like a father, and no one deserves this honor more than him. Well, I think that pretty much says it all. Again, please help me congratulate this year's recipient of the Michael E. Sanchez Lifetime Achievement Award, Mr. Dave Adams. Meet Dave Adams, who I think has control of this group. Do you, or, am I right, Dave? I have control part of the time. Part of the time. The history of this project is very interesting, and um, I want you to fill us in briefly on that, and then we're going to get to a performance. Well, when I retired from the military in 1990, moved back to Albuquerque, because this is originally my home, and uh, my adopted brother, Eddie, had a nightclub called, the, had a restaurant called the uh, Gulf, Gulf Coast Eatery and Jazz Club. That's right. Mm -hmm. I played there for a while, and uh, as, as, as we were playing, people would come in and want to sit in. Finally, Eddie said, you can't have anybody sit in that's not at least in the 11th grade because younger kids can't play. So um, we rehearsed on Saturdays and so forth. And pretty soon, you know, we had a group and these kids were learning faster than any of the other kids. Happy, Mr. Adams, Dave, it's Corey Fonville here, man. I just want to say congratulations. Um, this is such an amazing accomplishment. You deserve it. Um, you've done so much for the kids in Albuquerque and also in the Tidewater area in Virginia. So I just want to say thank you and congratulations. Um, personally, for me, you changed my life at the age of eight years old. And uh, between you and my parents, man, I wouldn't be here today. So um, you deserve these flowers, man. 
Talk to you soon. Love you. Peace. Hi, my name is Paul Machado. I was the founder of the Terry Society for Jazz in Colorado and produced the festival for about 26 years. Dave Adams, congratulations on being inducted into the New Mexico Music Hall of Fame. You're well deserving of it. My friend, thank you for bringing the Young Rascals Jazz Project up here since 1995. I saw you on Main Street, put you on the main stage. It was wonderful. You are a legend up here. And congratulations, my friend. Much love from all of us here at Telluride. See ya. Hi, Dave. It's Bryn Marciando. Thank you for everything you did for me to help me get my music career started. And congratulations on this wonderful award. It's well-deserved. My name is Doug Miller. I'm tenor saxophonist with the Count Basie Orchestra. Dave Adams, I'd like to congratulate you on your induction into the New Mexico Music Hall of Fame. Nobody deserves it more than you do. What you've done with your young student musicians has been amazing. They've gone on to uh, have successful professional careers, and uh, your talents as a musician are really astounding that you, you play three instruments at once, which is phenomenal. I've never known anybody to do that. And uh, congratulations again. You deserve this honor and more. Dave, Stephanie Nicassian here. I just want to tell you I'm so excited for you. Congratulations on being inducted into the um, New Mexico Hall of Fame, Music Hall of Fame. You so deserve it. You've given so much. And I'm glad for you, and I'm glad to have you in my life. And thank you for everything you've done for all the young people, and especially... More than ever, I'm glad there is... Congratulations. My name is Tyler. I am 10 and I play the trumpet. Most of all, I love playing jazz. I like jazz because I get to improvise. Dave Adams' dedication to his students is unmatched. He always puts 200% into all of his projects. The proof is in the pudding. Dave, congratulations on your induction into the New Mexico Hall of Fame. It's a huge achievement and absolutely well deserved. You've done so much for me and countless other students, both as an instructor and as a mentor. You helped me develop my relationship with jazz and music, which I've carried with me since into my both professional and personal life. And you taught me a lot about the world, about people, about history, and countless other things, as well as treating me like your own son. Thank you so much for everything, and I wish you all the best. I offer my gracious heart now, know that I've played my part now in the scheme of things. Thanks for Dave, the music of life can reach me. Heaven sent him to teach me everything it sings. My winter's blown around into a thousand springs. My feet have found the ground, and yet my heart has wings. Thanks for you, the glow of the dark. So I offer thanks for Dave. Love you, man. My second dad. Dave.
congratulations. I'm Mark Padilla. Dave Adams is one of those people, when you meet them, you know they are very special. I met Dave back in the early 80s when he came back to Albuquerque. He told me what he wanted to do and asked if I would help. I said yes because his focus was on teaching kids jazz music, which is very hard. If the kids learned what they taught them, they would not have to pay him. They practiced very hard to make Dave happy and it showed. We recorded several CDs at our studio and Dave was always a class act. Congratulations Dave on getting inducted into the New Mexico Music Hall of Fame. It's well deserved. When I think of a crash, I think of the airplane being pretty well beat up. Right. But I put an airplane in the side of a mountain with five people, four people in it. We're flying along and all of a sudden smoke starts coming in the airplane through the ventilators. In the cockpit? Yeah. Really? I mean, it was black. Oh my goodness. You know, and here I was, I was out 10 miles from anywhere where there was any smooth ground. Sure. So I knew I was going to have to set it in. So we're, we're, coming, we're coming in to land and this kid grabs a ski coat and puts it over his face. And I, and I yanked it away. I said, watch for, watch for power lines. Watch for anything high and let me know if you see something. Right. Look out the right side. Uh -huh. So anyway, I touched down and there was a big dip. And I managed to pull the flaps and lift it over the dip. And it finally slowed down to about within about 20 feet of the top of this rise on the side of the mountain. So uh, we spent the night, the night until about 3 in the morning. And that's when the search and rescue found us. So now, how did they get the plane out of there? Well, I I walked off how many steps I thought it would take, right? You know, to get actually get it off the ground. We turned it around. It was headed downhill, and uh, these other two folks went with uh, uh, went with the search and rescue group. The guy who owned the property where the plane went down uh -huh. had a helicopter, and he flew me back up in there. And I had the airplane pointed downhill. The wind was blowing, a storm was coming, and the wind was blowing like a son of a gun up the, up the mountain. Sure. I started down the mountain, you know, with a helicopter hovering 100 feet away or so. Got close to this hole and I yanked the, I, it had manual flaps on it. And I was able to yank them, change the, the lift sure. capacity. And I flew it back to uh, Coronado. When I got back, there was a bunch of newspaper people there. So anyway, the FAA contacted me and told me I needed to meet with this FAA inspector that uh, there would definitely be some charges. Why? Why would there be charges? Well, because I took an airplane off of an unspecified runway and you can't oh, do that. Okay. I'm, I'm kind of curious, Dave, what were you thinking when you went back into an airplane that just crashed and you were going to take off? <laughs> well, I knew it would still fly. And now, ladies and gentlemen, presenting Mr. Dave Adams will be Wendy Adams, Vicki Adams, Chef Eddie Adams, receiving as Dave Adams. Hi, everyone. That's the first time I've seen that, so it's pretty amazing. Um, so Dave Adams is my father. Hi, Dad. He is the most talented person I have ever met. Amazing jazz pianist, trumpeter, bassist, poet, rider, hang glider, marathon runner, motorcycle rider, and now, as you know, a very talented pilot. At a very young age, he asked my sister and me, not, do you want to play an instrument, but which one are you going to pick? Since he could play almost any instrument he picked up, I chose the alto saxophone because it was a reed instrument and that's something that he did not play. So I was hoping that he couldn't outperform me. He was always available for my musical competitions. One time showing up with his piano, bass player, drummer, and the vibes for my sixth grade solo ensemble. I got the highest marks of anyone there and was asked where I was gigging that weekend. That was my life. He also backed me up when I was auditioning for Madrigals. And I'm pretty certain that the director had aspirations for my dad to help with the musical pieces in the future as well. Either way, I was reminded 
every day of his amazing talent. It was magical to hear him play, whether it was the piano, the bass pedals, his valve trombone, or many times all three of them at once. I love you, Dad, and value everything that you've taught me. It's a real honor to see this accomplishment of his being recognized. Wow, what a privilege to be here tonight to uh, honor my husband, Mr. Dave Adams. Um, being married to Dave is like being married to three men in one. Very honored. <laughs> and uh, Dave can play his piano, kick bass pedals, and blow his bass trumpet all at the same time. I know. He taught Tyler Lindsay, one of the uh, young rascals that you saw early. So he's passing that on to future musicians. So his talents run from his natural, uh, natural musical ability to flying an airplane, to writing poetry, and publishing his work. What's even more outstanding is he shares all his talents with children of similar interest by being his mentor and giving of his time to teach and go beyond. You saw a little bit of him going beyond flying up the uh, side of a mountain. Um, but uh, anyway, the Young Rascals Jazz Project was founded by Dave right here in New Mexico. And this project opened many doors for young musicians who did not have an avenue to learn jazz jazz improvisation, or could even afford it. Dave did not charge for his lessons. He would um, basically give um, a student something to play, didn't tell them that if, for the jazz musicians in here, that it was kind of difficult, Donnelly, Opera Vop, Twisted, Four, just to name a few. Yeah, and uh, so it opened many doors. Um, that's Dave. Giving up his time, many times I witnessed him going down to Lesman's Music to borrow an instrument or work out a deal for these young musicians. And his enthusiasm was infectious. Young musicians were coming over to our home practicing at the Gulf Coast Eatery and Jazz Club, and pretty soon gigging at many venues. Dave made it possible for them to make their first CD and travel. Uh, one story I'd like to share is a time when he took the group up to Telluride to perform on the main street. <laughs> So he asked Angel, who is the owner of Azia Sun, if she would mind if these young musicians could perform in front of her shop, her store, borrow a little electricity um, and such. <laughs> um, and it worked out. Uh, they were, worked hard, and uh, they were able to experience what musicians experience on the road. So during this performance on the main street, a gentleman who was with the Telluride Jazz Festival uh, was passing by and after hearing these phenomenal musicians called Paul Machado, we saw him, director of the jazz celebration, and they had to have these young musicians perform on the main stage Sunday afternoon. It was a hit. And the group grew in size, and the project continued on to the East Coast, where we moved later on in 1998. Uh, more CDs, more gigs, more recognition. And Dave wasn't easy with them, as I said. Donnelly, Four, Twisted, my analyst told me. <laughs> yep, uh, they sounded great, like professional adults. And another story, 
um, involving young people was his flying project. He loves flying, great pilot, owning his own airplane. And we flew all over New Mexico and across the country. We loved the joy of soaring, flying, and we shared the love of hang gliding. Uh, he brought that experience to young people by starting an ACE, that's Aviation Careers Education Program, and that was sponsored by the University of New Mexico, the Civil Air Patrol, and the FAA. Yeah, and he made it possible for these young people to experience flying by taking them uh, to the airport, field days, got a hold of the schools around the area. He even flew out to Acoma Pueblo with the permission of the FAA landing on the road <laughs> and brought some of these uh, uh, people who were very interested in flying back to the airport and gave them 10 hours and some of them even soloed in under 10 hours. I got to witness. This is my husband, Dave Adams. <laughs> you <No>. wish. No. <laughs> this is Eddie Adams. But uh, just real quickly, I'll go. I know my time is running out. So um, Dave was um, a running maniac. He got no, literally, he got me into running. He ran himself 17 full marathons, 26.2 miles. And after crossing the finish line, many times go back grab people to help them cross the finish line. And we were in Albuquerque visiting one year and he noticed that the Duke City Marathon was the next day. So guess who signed up and ran it without any prep? <laughs> yep, he has gusto. <laughs> and uh, he wrote a, a poetry book, a book of poetry I should say, uh, The Reason for the Rhyme, A Matter of Time on Amazon. Uh, one story I'd like uh, to share with you all, and I'll do this real quickly, um, was his generosity in sharing uh, flying with a young boy who had terminal cancer and uh, wasn't expected to live much longer. His name was Michael. Dave not only made his dreams of flying come true, but he bought a pair of pilot sunglasses and a logbook to record his flying time bringing him out to the airport on his motorcycle. Uh, so Dave made dreams come true. And uh, even though Michael isn't uh, long with us any longer, he made his life uh, come true because of Dave. And to conclude, you know I'm, this is a little longer than two minutes, guys, but <laughs> I, am, I am the luckiest woman alive to share the life with a very loving, generous man who has opened doors and made dreams come true for so many young people. And opportunities don't happen often. If you're around my husband, Dave Adams, they will happen. His kindness, sharing his talents, and giving of his time are endless. His passion is inspirational and his love to share is priceless. I love you, sweetie, to the moon and back. Thank you. How y'all doing tonight? Okay, let's wake this place up real quick now. What a wonderful story. And actually, it's not a story. It's life, okay? What does Lifetime Achievement Award really mean? Can't see your hands, but if you raise and you can give me the definition, I'll buy you a drink at the bar, okay? But let me end this up because all I got to say about my brother from another mother, Dave Adams, one of the best musicians I've ever seen in the world, walked into my place one day when I was just barely walking through the dining room, checking out what was going on, silverware in place, whatever, and he looks at me and goes, I'd like to speak to the owner. I said, yes, sir, what is your name? He goes, Dave Adams. I go, oh, Eddie Adams. He goes, ah. I go, ah, brother from another mother. 
So it did work, okay? I said, well, you know, he goes, what, what goes on here? I heard you had a jazz club or something. I said, well, we're building it. We're building it. But, you know, we need musicians. I said, are you a musician? He goes, yep. I, uh, how many uh, instruments do you play? He goes, mm, I don't know, nine, 12, something like that. I said, okay, fine. There's a piano. Do you know Basin Street Blues? And he goes, may I? I go, of course. He went over, blown away. We sat down, talked. To make a long story short, as they say in Nolans, is that we were immediately bonded. Dave was never late. He started that night. He began to share with me his dreams and his ambitions of helping children that had talent but didn't have the encouragement or the backing or teaching to make it beyond what was going on where they were. So he invited them, and he goes, he goes, but Eddie, I have no place to have them rehearse. I said, here's the key, bro. You get in there anytime you want. It's your key. Get in. As long as you're by about 4 in the afternoon so I can start dinner, we're good. It's been a long night, ladies and gentlemen, and I'll guarantee you that everyone, every inductee, every single person, and I know a lot of you guys out there, I love you, but I tell you, right this moment, Dave Adams, I want to wish the absolute best, because as he starts giving even more of the spirit that he's had, to get him where he is now, the world's going to be a better place. Amen? All right? All right. So, so, now, none of that's on paper, all right? So now I have to end it because I was told I had to end it a certain way. All right. So now I got to read something. Okay. So, it is with great pleasure that we welcome and present 2021 Michael Lee Sanchez, New Mexico Hall of Fame Lifetime Achievement Award to Mr. Dave Adams. Thank you. I didn't know I was going to have to say anything. <laughs> I told Corey Fonville one day, one night, that he had to start playing a little bit softer because he's going to be playing with uh, Cyrus Chestnut. So they get in the middle of a song, and I, I told him if he played too loud, Cyrus should stop him and walk off stage. Well, he's, they're playing along, and Cyrus stands up and says, quit playing. He says, can you play any louder? I can't hardly hear you. <laughs> but I've got stories that I could tell, I could tell all night on each one of the students. But it's been... That beep, 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 beep means don't say that. <laughs> anyway, I want to thank everybody and those people who voted for me to be in with the good guys tonight. They're all good guys. <laughs> it's an honor. Say thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you very much.
a wonderful night, man. I tell you what, the organization that put this together and what's going to go on with the museum, support it, support it, support it. Spread it, spread it, spread it. Let everybody know that the only way you grow is by hitting it low. What an amazing man. Again, a congratulations to Mr. Dave Adams tonight. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what an evening, and I want to share once again the class of 2021, Arlen Asher, Hillary Smith, Ernestine Romero, Michael Martin Murphy, Bo Diddley, the Cordova family, and Mr. Dave Adams. We invite you to mix and mingle and share in the closing moments as we wind down our evening. On behalf of myself, KRQE, it's been such an honor, and the board of directors, Please have a pleasant night and a safe trip home. Thank you so much. You've been a wonderful audience.